lunch and then I do two hours in the afternoon and that's it. And I do I can do that for, for a week, you know, a few weeks at a yeah, time. But that's many hours. In the end it is, but but I just that's the way I find that works for me. I mean yeah. first Various people are different. Do Sorry? Do you use a computer or do you use a pen? Oh, yeah, I use a computer. Yeah. Yeah. It's t writing longhand is very tiring. It's all right writing a letter or a postcard, but writing page after page is very, very tiring. And then reading it back. Oh, to read and then you can't read your own writing. <laughs> <laughs> so at least when it's typed, you, can, you should be able to read it. Can you touch type? Well, I'm, like I'm not very, I'm not very fast. Yeah. Right. Not very fast. Is it, is it, a, is it a sort of a, a good show? Because I think writing song. Is it a what? Yeah, is it a big difference between writing song lyrics, which is quite like oh god, it's a completely into... different process. This, this, this is like a, yeah. a story, um, but it's a song. So midnight summer dream. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it's a, you've expanded the song as a story into a novel. Yeah, and it just so takes a bit longer, that's yeah. all. Does it, does it, was it, did, did it feel comfortable moving from sort of one style, you know, that poetry, song lyrics, into a sort of prose narrative? Is that a big difference or did well, you...? Well, it, it was, as I said, it was writing the, the autobiography and that took six months, and at the end of that, I thought, "Wow, that was an interesting process, and I quite enjoyed that. It's very different from what I've done before, but that was good." And so then, and then, um, and then I split up with a girlfriend, and I wanted to go away on holiday, and I knew I'd get bored being by myself, and I had this idea for a story. So I thought, "I oh, know, I'll take my laptop, and I'll just see what happens." And after a couple of days of doing that, suddenly this this other thing happened that was nothing like what I thought the, stuff, the idea was. Yeah. And I thought, oh, well, this is working, you know, so I just kept it up. So then... Yeah. It's a bit of an accident, really. Yeah. So do you, do you sort of get an inspiration from other literature? Do you read a lot? Is there anything... Well, I've stopped reading now. I prefer to write. <laughs> okay. when, when people would read, I, like if they go on holiday or whatever, I prefer to, to write and I don't read before I go to bed. I can't wait to go to sleep and I get into bed. So I don't sit there waiting, thinking, oh, if I read a book for half an hour, I'll fall asleep. You know, a lot of people do that. I can't do that. So, but I mean, I used to read a, a hell of a lot. Yeah, I used to read. Well, I mean, I'm very fond of, um, I mean, the first novel I tried to write, like uh, 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 a crime and punishment, Dostoevsky, <laughs> my version, and it also it was a bit like American Psycho, which I liked as a book. You know, various books. I thought, yeah, that's. I'd like to do something. So what happens when you're writing songs is, uh, I think a lot of people would agree to this. Songwriters, you think, I want to write a song like Rob, like a Roy Orbison song. So you start writing a song that's like something that really inspires you, and you end up with one of your songs. <laughs> but the starting point was that inspiration from yeah. people that, whose work you like. So, I mean, I mean, I'm a big fan of Victor Hugo as a writer. I think he's fantastic. And, um, and Paul Oster, who's a modern American writer. And I'm a huge fan of Philip K. Dick. Yes. Oh yeah. Um, he's very underrated, I think. So, um, so there, are, there's, there's, it, there's a, there is inspiration from literature that's already that already exists for me. Yeah. Yeah. When you start writing, have you got the plot complete before you? No, start no, I don't. I, apparently, I do the same as what Agatha Christie used to do. She's got a beginning, and she knows how it's going to end. And then it's just, just, the it. just doing the minute in between, and that's I hope what he gets I do. Well, he is her, then. Sorry. I hope he gets well, he is her, then. <laughs> but I mean, that, but that to me is the exciting thing because you, I'm going away at the, you know, on my rhythm every four hours every day, and then suddenly starting to think, my God, where did he come from? <laughs> Who is this guy? Or where did that? Well, okay, and you just, and a writer told me once, he said, what you got to do when you're writing a novel is you got to get out of the way of the story. Don't get in the way, you know. <laughs> let it go, you know. Let just go with it, and, and don't put your get your so don't put yourself in there, you know. So did you do a lot of research? Did you speak to any vicars? I didn't speak to any vicars, but um, <laughs> but um, no, I didn't do much research in the sense of religious research. I found out about what happens to them when they retire or when they churches are turned into 
you know, houses. And I found out about a few, there are a few things that happen in there that, um, that I had to find out about. And I know Hamburg, I was dating a girl who lived in Hamburg, so a lot of this happens in Hamburg, because I'm familiar with Hamburg. Um, I like this thing about, you know, knowing places. Um, I think it's really important. Huh? Sweden next. Sweden, yeah, yeah, possibly. Yeah, that'd be a good idea, yeah. <laughs>